that's very important. Yeah. But one thing I want to go before we soon wrap it up is, yeah. I, all the viewers know you've got you be uh, revert to Islam and everything. Obviously, I know yeah. Yeah. The video went viral. Yeah. Yeah. But um, how's your life changed in any way? How do you feel? I mean, it's been a bit of a while now. What's Welcome changed? to the club. <laughs> do you, you feel life changed? You feel a bit the, relaxed. The, the, the you feel more yeah, the, the brotherhood is amazing. Yeah. That's the first thing I will say. It, it, you want to cure racism? Islam cures racism instantly. Like it's it's amazing the brotherhood. Yeah. That's that's certainly there. I certainly do feel more relaxed. I feel like. Uh, I always had faith to a degree, so it's not like I'm brand new to the idea mm -hmm. of faith, but I certainly feel more relaxed. I feel like a lot of the things which I knew were degenerate, but especially when you're, you kind of get to a weird, fame was a weird thing, to also to answer your question. When you're kind of on your way up to fame, or you're getting famous, or you're or quite famous, you want to be in the place you're supposed to be, right? And then you get to a level of fame where you just don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> it's just mm. like, but a lot of things, I, it, it's it's great to look at things that previously I would have felt like for work I should be at, or for social, because people I know I should be at, and just, just go, haram, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> haram, no. no, staying home. <laughs> so uh, that's good. Um, What's the hardest thing so far? Is there anything? Nothing's been hard. I've, okay. quit, I've quit alcohol. That hasn't been difficult. Yeah. But I've always had insane willpower, so mm. I can I can do anything I want to do. Mm. I just feel like it's a journey. There's a lot to learn. Mm. It can be quite daunting. Mm. You know, like even the even the language, even Arabic, yeah. it's like it's very hard to learn. Mm. So I'm just on a journey, like everyone else, and I'm trying to study it. So so give us some Arabic words. Let's, uh, let's no. hear <laughs> All I know so far is halas because I use the <laughs> this is the easiest word halas. But, halas, halas, halas. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very hard. So yeah. I'm doing I'm doing my best with it, but uh. I think, like I've explained before on other podcasts, it's the only religion that that's left on the planet worth that has serious boundaries. I saw actually um, an uh, Islamic guy, uh, an Islamic podcast. I don't know who he was, who said Tate reverted to Islam because it's intolerant or because its degree of intolerance is because of its strict lines, and people are trying to walk away from it because of its strict lines. But Tate understands the beauty of strict lines, and that's exactly what it is. You need to have boundaries in life, like everything we just discussed. If you remove boundaries. It becomes a free for all, right? So you need to have boundaries. Well, that's a very good point he made because I've not seen that. I like to watch that because mm. I see young. I speak to guys about Islam all the time and young boys, and I see them trying to chase that Western mm. kind of way of life. I want to be this, that. When you've got a guy who has it all in this world, Crazy like you say, it, yeah. yeah, he comes to Islam. So to all you young guys, feel ashamed. Like, yeah. don't feel shy or embarrassed to be what you are, a Muslim, and be proud. Yeah. Like I've always been. Yeah. Uh, I could be in a meeting anywhere. Everyone knows me. I won't touch alcohol. I'll pray in mm. the corner. And I think a lot of Muslim women are tending to shy away. And I'm mm. sorry, we need more women to put, like, they see it as, uh, oh, it's kind of like uh, controlling the hijab. When millions and millions of women wear the hijab willingly yeah. as a sign of empowerment. So Modesty I think uh, men, we have, like, uh, people look, I think women are a problem in the cross 